we're in Dusty. Roberto's with me. We're about to go for a little test ride. We had to uh, upgrade one of the fuel pumps on Dusty, so we're, not gonna, we're gonna go run it now, do a little hit, test it, see how it goes. Roberto's gonna watch for me and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Come along for the ride. So there you go, it works. Uh, happy about that, short little pull. Traffic, not not in a good spot to make any big top end pulls, so not gonna happen. But next time we go to the track, it'll be ready. What happened was, is we went to TRC, and uh, I, went, I went up to the line and started to go down the track, and the car was leaning out. So I had to let off. I didn't wanna risk breaking anything. And uh, I guess one of the fuel pumps was just couldn't handle it so we upgraded the main pump to a big old 500 wall bro and we have the second uh, as new so we've got plenty of fuel now and hopefully that'll never be a problem again um, the next track event is in December so we'll be there for sure but it's a shame I really wanted to run dusty at the last TRC and I was there I just I didn't want to risk breaking it so Either way, we are ready to go. Dusty's back in action. If you have never seen Dusty before, I'm gonna do a quick walk around. And uh, I don't know, I might take this thing out and drive it because I haven't had it, I haven't had a chance to really daily drive it in a while and I wouldn't mind doing that. As you saw in the video, I missed a gear. It's been too long. It's been too long, Dusty. But uh, anyway, so here's Dusty. This is a, 1990 R32 Skyline GTR with quite a bit of good stuff. A lot of HKS goodies. HKS turbos, HKS cams, blow off valves, all the good stuff. There's HKS intakes. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. It's definitely got some goods. Big injectors, HKS fuel rail. Um, the two pumps, as you saw, we got Okada Project. Coils, the pl plasma direct fire, direct plasma, whatever they're called. Um, got the Nismo locking front and rear differentials, so they're they're locked up. Um, we've got uh, Zeal suspension on this one, um, a Mines front pipe, titanium exhaust all the way back, with um, uh, Exedi hyper twin disc clutch. Mm, what else? Stock transmission, stock bottom end. She's making a lot of power for a stock bottom end. Uh, at the motor, we're pushing 800 horsepower. At the wheels, we're right around 650. So this car really books for what it is. And that's on this dyno. This is a Mustang dyno. It's a heartbreaker. And it, this car just gets down. It really does get down. It's really light because it's got carbon panels. This is a all carbon you can see the carbon peeking through there it's a very light car carbon carbon everywhere and it's around 2800 pounds 2850 pounds uh, we've got the Volt VRG twos on it real nice and light wheels 17 it's got Brembo upgraded brakes We're running the R33 GTR brakes which is an upgrade on this car um, and not too much more to talk about Nismo shifter it's a pretty basic car otherwise, but man, does she get the work done. So stay tuned, we're gonna do some more videos with Dusty. 
and um, I don't know what else to say. I love this car. All right, now I want to give a shout out to one of our customers, Jason. You know who you are. He came through and he dropped off a load of awesome stuff for us. And I'm just going to show you some of it. Look at this. He had these old ass option videos. They're VHS. I gotta go to my parents' house and steal their VHS player so I can watch these. Or just go online and watch them. But whatever, these are really cool. And then we got a couple of DVDs, a few DVDs. And he gave us some Hot Wheels. Look at this, yellow FD. This is it, this is the one. What you know about the yellow FD? I might know something. He knows a little bit about it. This is the guy that was responsible for bringing back that front bumper. And let me tell you, it looks good. I was looking at it the other day and I was like, Tommy did a damn good job. So thanks for that. If you guys need stuff painted, he's your man. Now this is a Tanner Fox Edition Hot Wheels. Oh man, look at that. When, I guess I gotta make it to get that, but that would be sweet if this said like, I don't know, HP Logic something. We gotta get an HP Logic Hot Wheels, Roberto. I'll work on it. All right. Skyline. Some Volkswagens just for flavor. And then a couple more RX-7s. So huge shout out. Thank you, Jason. You killed it as usual. Jason dropped off this GTR last time he was here and some other goodies too. So he's always coming through with, this, with the win. Thank you. It's nighttime now. I'm in the car with Carla. We're in the FD. We're in Carla's FD. Yeah. And we're doing some night tuning. Ooh, we got the HKS FCON V Pro hooked up and we are making a couple of little adjustments to this awesome Florida fall weather, right? It's so good. <laughs> it's finally below like 85 here in Florida. That's the, nice. The RX-7s love it. The RX-7 loves it, exactly. Don't you dare call it boost weather though. Boost I weather. I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's not boost weather. I don't want to hear about boost weather. Anyway, we are cruising around. We're going to be uh, making some adjustments. If you guys haven't seen this car before, it's a full-on JDM tree. It's, it's a 93 Affini RX-7 and uh, it's got a host of different Japanese mods. It's basically exactly how we got it from Japan. But if you go check out some of the other videos, we did like a feature on the car. You can check out more, you can check out more about it. Getting a little boosty over here? A little bit. Yeah?
that's the that's Carla's FD. Hope you guys like this. The car is awesome. It feels great. It's a stock twin turbo car, but man, does it move. We gotta get it on the dyno. I bet this thing's making more power than my FD, I'll tell you that.